Okay, so gas pressure test kit, yellow jacket. Set that up right there. Then get a clear view of pressure readings and attach this end of the tube to the fixture. Okay, I'm up here and I'm turning on the gas and I'm gonna open this valve. And then I'm gonna do a test. The sniffer is not picking up on any propane. No leaks here. So this is what we have. Open, open, and we're getting a reading of it's somewhere in between 10 and 11 inches of mercury. On this yellow jacket manometer. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the propane. Down through the fixture. And here is my valve that will pressurize the tube all the way down here, around, and down here. Now what we're gonna see is... So this is a water manometer, and it is the most precise instrument for measuring uh, gas pressure in inches of mercury. So what we get for a reading on this manometer, uh, if it matches with the gauged manometer, the yellow jacket, then we know that the yellow jacket is properly calibrated because it is the same pressure as the water manometer, which is a pre precise device. We're gonna see a change in the pressure. We're gonna see this go down and it's, I'm gonna be able to measure it. So here we go. See if you can catch it, if you can catch the movement of it. See that? So it's right at like just a little more than 10 and a half. It's between 10, obviously, and 11, a little more than 10 and a half. So that's right uh, at the range of where that uh, yellow jacket manometer test kit was reading. So that yellow jacket manometer uh, test kit is calibrated because it matches with the pressure that's being read on this aqua manometer. So the reason that we calibrate this yellow jacket manometer and make sure that it's measuring precisely is because it's just easier to carry in the field and a little bit less cumbersome than the, uh, the water manometer. So this is calibrated and ready for use in the field to take measurements of pressure for propane.